Welcome and thanks for tuning in to this week's Ask the DAE. Last week, we spoke about hosting a website in Dropbox. And if you have any further questions about building a website, hosting a website, domains, or any other website-related information, I suggest you sign up for one of our web design courses, which you can check out at www.thedae.com. Today, we are going to talk about microphones. More specifically, we're going to be talking about different pickup patterns on a microphone or a polar pattern on a microphone. Now, if you're not sure what that means, it's gonna make sense pretty quickly. Today, we're using a Blue Yeti, which is a really, really awesome microphone. It's not super expensive. It's USB powered, totally portable, and it has four different pickup patterns, which is pretty cool. It's excellent for recording music. It's excellent for recording spoken word or singing or pretty much anything. It's a pretty awesome microphone. So at any rate, let's get started. So a polar pattern or a pickup pattern on a microphone relates to how the microphone picks up sound 360 degrees around the capsule. Now your typical microphone has what's called a cardioid pattern, which means that it picks up sound from the front, but not from the back. And we're gonna demonstrate this by rotating the microphone as I speak. So I'm gonna speak, and as I rotate the microphone away from my mouth, you should hear my voice significantly drop in volume, and you're actually only hearing the reflections of my voice around the room, and no, you're no longer hearing the direct sound from my mouth. And as I flip the microphone back towards me, you should hear my voice come up in volume again. Now, the cardioid pickup pattern is very useful when you're recording music in a room with other sources, because let's say you've got a guitar player and a drummer in the same room. You don't want the microphone on the guitar picking up the drums. So a directional microphone, like a cardioid microphone, will pick up sound from the source, but reject the sound from the drums in the back of the microphone. Another pattern that we've got is the figure eight pattern. I'm gonna quickly switch the microphone to figure eight. Figure eight, you can probably figure out what that means, but it actually picks up sound from the front and the back, but rejects sound from the side, almost as if the microphone is capturing sound in a figure eight pattern. So we're gonna demonstrate that. As I speak, you should hear my voice drop in volume, and as the mic spins all the way around, you should hear my voice come back up in volume. I'm gonna spin it back the other way, and you should hear my voice drop in volume when we're sort of at the side of the microphone. And as we come back around to the front, you should hear my voice jump back up in volume. So that's the figure eight. Now figure eight is really useful if you have uh, two singers singing at the same time, you can have them both, both face the microphone. Uh, it's also really useful if you have uh, somebody recording acoustic guitar and singing at the same time because you don't want the voice getting into the microphone that's recording the guitar. So you can use a figure eight microphone with that null side point facing their mouth and it will reject the voice and only pick up the guitar. It's a really useful technique. In addition to that, we have an omnidirectional pattern. I'm just gonna quickly switch my mic to omnidirectional. Now, omnidirectional means that it picks up sound 360 degrees around the capsule. So you'll hear, as I rotate the microphone, my voice really shouldn't change in volume. We can go all the way around and make a full rotation with the microphone, and you really shouldn't hear the volume change. It's just gonna keep going around, stay nice and even. Now this is very, very useful for a meeting or recording a source with a lot of sources around it. Typically this would be great if you took the microphone and stuck it in the middle of a conference table during a meeting, and then you'd be picking up sound evenly from all directions. Very, very useful. Now, the really cool thing about the Blue Yeti is that it has a stereo microphone in it, which means it actually has two microphones facing two different directions. So if you were recording, let's say, a choir or a group of singers, uh, you could put the microphone dead center and you'd actually get a nice stereo spread of the singers, which means the singers on the left would be on the left, the singers on the right would be on the right, and the singers in the middle will be in the middle. So let's demonstrate that. I'm gonna switch this into stereo, and now, You'll hear my voice move from the left side of your speakers, and as I continue spinning the mic to the right, you'll hear my voice move to the right side of your speakers. And then back to the left for the left side, back to the right for the right side. So that's a really, really cool feature about this microphone. Not many microphones come with that. And for $149.99, you get the Blue Yeti, which has a omnidirectional, a cardioid, a figure eight, and a stereo microphone built in. And it also is USB powered, which means you can plug it right into a laptop and be mobile with it, which is awesome. 
So that's what pickup patterns are or polar patterns are in a microphone. If you have any other questions about microphones or recording music or anything audio related, you can reach out to us at info at the DAE.com or check out some of our audio engineering courses at www.thedae.com. This has been Ask the DAE, and if you'd like to submit a question that you'd like answered with a video such as this, please tweet at the DA experience, hashtag Ask the DAE. Thanks so much for tuning in.